Hey, this is Nicolosi. Mela version 2 is finally here with a fresh interface. Let's get into what's new. The first thing you'll notice is that Mela 2 has a new color scheme. But if you're feeling nostalgic, you can enable the classic theme from the settings menu. The entire UI can be broken down into three parts. The top bar, page selector and scroll view. The top bar consists of the preset selector and global parameters. Tap on the preset selector to access the preset save, import and export functionality. The page selector allows you to toggle visibility of the preset browser, perform view, synth modules and virtual musical keyboard. The new UI is highly adaptive. Mela tries to make the best use of the window size it is given. This means it now supports both iPhone and iPad in all orientations. And when loaded inside a host, such as a UM, you can give Mela whatever window size you want. You'll also notice that all controls have been updated, giving Mela a more consistent design language. The parameter controls now show their values all the time. Another big feature in Mela 2 is Perform View. It's a great way to cherry pick the parameters you care about most and access them all from one place. This is especially useful when you want to make Mela window small inside a host and still be able to tweak the parameters. Tap on the title and value text area of a dial or a slider to bring up the context menu. From here you can assign to one of the eight slots of the perform view. After a parameter is assigned, it automatically gets a short title. type. However, you can rename it to anything you like. That's all for now. For full details, check out the release notes. If you enjoy using Mela, please leave a review on the App Store. And for any questions or feedback, don't hesitate to get in touch. See you next time.